Hi, good morning and welcome to these products in focus. The US there, there is in negative territory after coming off quite aggressively last night in the back of the FOMC statement, which is quite upbeat about the US economy, but also was a lot more hawkish than many uh, other analysts had thought in regards to the US dollar with a rate hike potentially expected now in June to September of this year. Uh, many commentators were thinking it might be a bit of a softer statement considering the earnings issues that had been coming out. A lot of uh, US companies have been complaining about the impact of the stronger US dollar on their earnings, just as uh, the rest of the world is embarking on a very large quantitative easing program to make themselves more competitive. So what you're seeing right here is a bit of a disconnect from US 30 versus European indices with the, with the Germany 30 uh, still outpacing um, the US 30. Obviously when they're looking at a big quantitative easing package you are going to be seeing a lot more uh, gains in that market rather than the US 30. So quite a surprising move. You've seen the dollar um, out kind of rebound quite strongly and the US stock market take a little bit of a tumble and some Asian markets as well in tandem. And that's in the back of moves in dollar yen that we've seen overnight as well. So US 30 next potential support is at 17.034, probably short term pain for longer term gain. Um, with the next rate hike thought of more as a, as a symbolic gesture rather than anything else. Um, we could be looking at a, a, a period between June and, and September based on uh, analyst debate that's happened right now in the back of that statement. So moving on to the um, UK 100, you can see it's also come off quite aggressively there, uh, stopping uh, still at 67.71 as a potential support level. Uh, we actually closed on the wrong side of that last night. Uh, we're just poking your head above there right now but it's been higher it's getting pushed lower right now so 66 86 is the next potential support the technicals are uh, overbought so we probably could do with a little bit of uh, a little bit of pressure being taken off here we do just have a golden cross on the uk 100 so if we do get a little bit more uh of, of a sell-off there people might be looking at 66 86 a potential saucer, saucer entry point on the uk 100. so then jumping on to japan 225 uh, long leg candles in the last three sessions it came off a little bit at the end of the session last night um it's not actually as negative as, as the impact we've just seen there in the US 30 and the and the UK 100, um, but 17,496 is the next potential level. Obviously, when you've got a quantitative easing um, and a lot more stimulus still to come in Japan, I think people are holding, holding their breath. Any strength on, uh, on the Japanese yen is going to be quite um, going to be short, quite short. And obviously, if you have a rampant US dollar, that's going to really affect that dollar yen exchange rate, which should still help Japan 225. So long-term potential resistance still remains at 18,306. Moving on to that dollar yen FX cross, um, you can see there that we have been consolidating here for the last eight sessions at 117 spot 36. Today is no different. Um, this could be a very interesting pivot level for those of you who are trading dollar yen, and uh, certainly you're not seeing an aggressive move higher considering the the stance of the Fed last night. Uh, not that they were unbelievably hawkish, but it was just uh, some commentators were surprised that there wasn't more of a dovish tone, uh, given considering all the uh, recent macro data and some of the disappointing earnings. But um, they're staying the course basically, so that's why you're not seeing like an unbelievable jump higher. Um, but you are going to see a consolidated period right here, and I guess quite, people have to ask about dollar yen. What what is more likely to, to to happen? Obviously, people buy yen in terms of uncertainty, so that's probably why you're not seeing such a, a big move on this FX pair versus the other ones. But moving on to crude oil. West Texas, um, that stronger potential, longer term, stronger US dollar is going to be pressurizing commodities. Uh, West Texas is no different. Trading to uh, actually broken $43 now um, for its, uh, uh, again, an all time, uh, well, not all time, but a, a multi year low. I think you're looking at a seven year low on uh, West Texas now. Uh, with $35, 30 cents still being that longer term potential support level. Um, the fundamentals aren't very good for West Texas following on uh, record inventory data that came out yesterday as well. Um, so there seems to be still further downwards action uh, potentially expected on uh, on Brent and West Texas. If we look at gold, um, gold is usually quite sensitive to potential interest rate hikes in America and a stronger US dollar. So we've not seen too much of an aggressive move to the, to the downside, but 1273 is the next potential support. Um, this formation that we're seeing right here could be a descending triangle formation, which has usually got a bias for a breakout down at the bottom of the triangle rather than breaking through this, the, the, um, the trend line. Um, but that level could be an interesting um, springboard for those of you that are thinking that gold's going to go that little bit higher with 1296 still being that potential resistance level. So moving on then to euro dollar, uh, obviously coming off a little bit yesterday, um, we're down a little bit lower there today. We have been down as low as 110.91. 
and we are still looking at 107.86 as a longer term potential support level here um, depending how the macro data comes out of Europe and uh, US obviously with a massive quantitative easing program and uh, a little bit more direction on the US dollar US dollar might end up going more, more directional and be less volatile than it's been in the last couple of sessions the same with the UK 100 obviously the uh, macro data of the UK has actually been improving a little bit fastest growth in seven years etc etc um, potential resistance one spot 51.85 still on play which also matches up to that 21 period SMA the other technicals are relatively neutral longer term potential support one spot 48.13 so economic data wise we still got uh, German unemployment data uh, we've got CPI at 1 p.m. UK time and you've got um, US unemployment claims and the housing index and uh, gas report details which will be due out later on today for any of you are trading natural gas that will be an interesting one for you to look at and if we fast forward again to Friday you've got German retail sales uh, and Eurozone CPI and the unemployment rate followed by US GDP so effectively Euro dollar is probably where a lot of the action still is dollar yen is probably going to continue to flatline as the markets sell off uh, on the back of that potential earlier rate hike in the US but people are buying the Japanese yen because it's safe haven so there's not a lot of action going to be happening on dollar yen um, but your dollar is probably where a lot of FX traders will be looking and the basis of a lot of this economic data that's just, just still to come out so as ever keep your eye on the chart forum make insights part of your layer going forward and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next